I'm Dr. Kate Lancaster and I belong to the University of York Department of Physics and I'm sitting here in the York Plasma Institute where we study the fourth state of matter, uh, plasmas, and that's what I do for a living. Uh, so part of my role is to research how lasers, very, very intense lasers produce plasmas and what we use them for. Um, and another part of my role is to teach students, um, currently only master students at the moment. And then another part of my role is to look at what we do here at the York Plasma Institute and try and connect that with industry and try and understand the impact of our, of our work in the everyday world because I think that's an extremely important thing. So what I do here at the University of York is I'm a laser plasma physicist. What does that mean? Well, I try to understand what happens when you take one of the world's most powerful lasers, like for example the Vulcan Petawatt laser down in Oxfordshire, and you fire it onto a piece of material. And what happens is uh, you, you take this laser and you focus it to a very, very fine point, so something like five microns. And if you think about five microns, the thickness of a human hair is about 50 microns, so it's a fraction of a human hair. And it's like taking all of the light that's falling on the earth from the sun and focusing it on the head of a pin. So it's 10 to the 21 watts per square centimetre, so it's incredibly intense. Um, and that delivers energy to a piece of material and the temperatures can be something like the centre of the sun, so tens of millions of degrees. And what happens when you, you know, impart that much energy to uh, material, to the atoms, is that they become ionised, i.e. they fall apart, and you end up with a soup of charged particles, so the negative electrons and the positive ions, all swimming around, and that's called plasma. And then we consequently study what that plasma does. Uh, so that's what I do for a living, in short, is create some of the most extreme conditions on Earth uh, for various applications like particle acceleration, uh, inertial confinement fusion, which is a way of building miniature stars on Earth as an energy source, um, trying to understand nuclear physics, exotic atomic physics, and even make miniature laboratory astrophysics experiments as well. Just to clarify, um, a petawatt is 10 to the 15 watts, okay? So this little laser pointer that I have here, that's that's a milliwatt, okay? So 10 to the 15 watts is, is pretty awesome. If you put your hand in this laser beam, <laughs> this is not a healthy thing to do, I will say this now. Because number one, these lasers are fired under vacuum, so that, that would probably kill you first before anything else. Uh, then if you even manage to survive that, putting your hand in the way, yes, you would get a hole in your hand. Also, there's lots of harmonics of the laser that are produced so you become blind. Um, and also, uh, then you're producing bursts of gamma rays and other uh, radiation, uh, which is also not good for you. So, so I would say it's not a good thing or a healthy thing to put your hand in the way of a petal laser. Also, you'll never be allowed to do that. <laughs>